we're going to have this problem until it becomes a citywide problem. This is a public health problem. This is dangerous for everybody. And until we embrace this as one city and not just say, well, it's them folks. It isn't them folks. We live in one city. Three homicides in one weekend are keeping... Truce has always had the stigma of being a dividing line. It is a, a mess. Police say 31-year-old Darnell Pearson was murdered outside his apartment building. We suffer from hyper-segregation. This was spurred by the integration of schools. So there was a lot of fear, and there were people who took advantage of that. Sometimes within the urban core, we kind of have a live and let live mentality. Almost like, well, hey, that's what's going on down the street. But we fail to realize that down the street will eventually be you. Our residents in just Kansas City are paying $26 million every single year in interest alone. I had a foster child that was in my car one day, and he said to me, if I grow up, I want to be a fireman. And four-year-olds should say, when I grow up. This idea that someone's going to come in and fix our community is not based in any reality, in my opinion. We must raise up supermen and women to take back our communities and provide them with direction and vision. No, no, no. No! You are those men! We've done something here nobody's been capable of doing. We have crossed every single religious, political, geographic dividing line in this city and said our people deserve better than this. Yeah. If we begin to work together, we can begin to have this feeling of village that transcends any particular group. I think the days of waiting for government to solve all problems are over.